feel like Danny DeVito is getting smaller. Gravity is not, or yeah, gravity is not being nice to that man. What does it say? Yeah, but that's different though. No offense, but if I saw you on the street, I would see a guy. You don't pass. Oh, she's mad. He, whatever the fuck. He's mad. Yeah, this is a guy. I can tell. Look at that hairy ass chest. Look at those big ass eyebrows. Like, bro, you're a fucking dude. Okay? It's not against the law to say so. It might hurt your soft little fucking feelings and your stupid fucking ears, but you're a guy. And if I saw you on the street, I'd call you a dude. Then again, here's the thing. If I saw you on the street, there's not a shot in fucking hell I would even approach you. So I probably wouldn't call you anything. I'm staying the fuck away from you. You're weird. I have no clue, all right? I don't really personally use passing as like my threshold for womanhood. I understand that a lot of trans people want to pass. It's a goal I respect it deep. Okay, let's... If you're gonna be trans, if you're gonna be trans, bro, I'm so sick of you motherfucking trans people doing the whole trans thing and y'all don't fully commit. If you want to be a woman, shave your fucking facial hair, shave your goddamn chest, cut off your fucking pee pee and your fucking nutsack and wear makeup. At least make it, you remember the trans of back in the 80s and shit? Bro, they looked fucking fantastic. They looked fabulous. Like, you could probably get tricked as a straight heterosexual male. You could probably get tricked back in the 80s, early 90s by some of these trans. But the new age trans, y'all just be fucking lazy. Y'all don't fully commit to anything. Y'all just throw on a goddamn dress and call it a day. That's just so fucking stupid. Ugh. Ugh. Let's read the comment first. Uh, yeah, but that's different though. No now this kind of looks like you, Brad. Same beard. Brad, you and this you and this dude got the same beard. <laughs> I swear, Brad, this actually kind of looks like you. <laughs> No offense, but if I saw you on the street... Brad, why in the fuck would I ever confuse you with Isaac Butterfield? What do you mean, which dude? What do you mean? <laughs> okay. I would see a guy, you don't pass. Who gives a shit if you pass? I mean, as long as you're happy. But if you're so confused about your gender and you really want to be the other gender, like, just try and look like the other gender. That's what like, I'm saying. give it a go. Like, I think that's why people have issues with, you know, people who are trans going into the opposite gender's bathroom. They have if you're trans and I can't tell, you're doing it right. If you're trans and I can notice immediately, you're doing it completely fucking wrong. So if you're a dude who thinks you're a lady and I can't tell that you're a dude, you're doing it absolutely right. And vice versa. If you're a lady trying to be a dude... And all I see is a guy, and I don't even have an inkling that you might be a female, you're doing it right. But on the other side of that spectrum, you're doing it completely fucking ass backwards, man. And like he said, that's where a lot of people have fucking issues. Because, like, you sit here and want us to suspend our disbelief and just go into a different reality to please your fucking feelings? Nah, bro. Nah. I live in reality. Only men have beards. Yeah, sure, women have facial hair, but barely. You don't pass, bro. You never will. The issue, because a lot of people go in there, they look very much like a man. If you're walking into the woman's bathroom and you go, Ladies, is there any stalls free? I really need to yeah. take a shit. People are going to have issues with it. But if you walk in there and you're all ladylike and you're, Ooh, I need to poopy. I need to poopy. <laughs> I don't live for the validation of other people deciding what they think that my gender passes as. Which is why you're on TikTok explaining your gender, yet you don't care. Got it. I love my presentation. I don't need your validation from it. I do not receive this. You don't receive it. You heard it. Look how crazy her fucking eyes look there. And when I say her, he I'm not. A, I'm not calling him it's that. It's hard. I want to it, be nice. It's a come him. on, shave your no. beard. I caution you about policing other people's gender expressions. I'll police fucking who I want. I'm the top cop. All right. Fucking bad boys for gender no more. <laughs> because it's just not your fucking business. You put it on the internet for people. 
it's everyone's business. Once you put it onto the internet, it's everyone's fucking business. You're opening yourself up to scrutiny. You're opening yourself up to judgment. And you can't fucking take it. Really. That's just is what it is. Watch. Of course it's everyone's business, dickheads. To people like me, and you're just making the world. You have hairy shoulders. If my wife had hairy shoulders, I would have to take her to where she belongs. Fucking Taronga Zoo, the hairy <laughs> bitch. I don't have any words prepared Trans today. Transgender oh, actress Lord. goes crazy at bored of super... Started screaming at a San Francisco... Oh, it's in San Francisco? Yeah, that's where all the crazies are. Board of Supervisors meeting in protest to an apparent trans... Uh, genocide? Genocide? I don't know. People like this should just be escorted out of the building and banned from attending future events. This is supposed to be an adult. Okay. Supervisors meeting. This is insane. I just want you to feel our pain... I don't know if you can at this point. Based but what is your pain? Like, what is your pain? I still don't know. The trans community, what is your pain? What is your pain? What, what, what ails you? What are you doing? Like, what is wrong with you? Why are you mad? What, what, what is, what is the issue? What is the problem? I don't know. I don't fucking know. At your policy how old is and why are you wearing a mask voices but i have to pretend you have some form of empathy left i'm glad she has the uh rainbow flag on a collar otherwise we wouldn't know who she wants to have sex with and that's really important for everyday business oh. i am going to spend the next minute screaming because that is what is going on in here surely not that is what the trans genocide in this country trans genocide this city trans genocide you think Homegirl, I don't think you know the proper definition of the word genocide. Do, do you even know what genocide means? Because you sure are throwing it around like you know what the fuck it means. Countries go to war because of genocide, right? Us as Americans, we will intervene into another country because of genocide. The trans community is not experiencing any of the sort. You're just being fucking dramatic and you really want people to like you, but no one gives a fuck about you because they probably think you're fucking weird because you're trying to push all your shit onto them. You need to acknowledge me. You need to recognize me. You need to be nice to me. You need to use my fucking pronouns. And we've had enough of it, bro. We've had enough of it. So you come, you, you get on a platform, you get on a stage where you can actually speak your piece and you say ridiculous shit like this. Why no one takes y'all seriously, bro? Like, holy shit. This is a room full of people. So these days I've been highly considering going to therapy for stress and anxiety management in particular. Good for you. Fox with the uh, three gifted subs, one to Wixter, one to Danger Bear, and then the other one to Fox. Another Fox. Yo, if I said your name, be sure to say thank you to SS Fox. SS Fox is like a, is like the stream MVP. Has been the stream MVP for a hot fucking minute now, and I don't think it's gonna change. You guys know Fox is five gifted subs away from two hundred. You guys know that? That's fucking wild, actually. Like, there is no genocide. Like, what, what, as a trans person, what can you not do that the rest of us can? Let me guess. Use your bathroom of choice. I'm sorry. I will not budge on that. If you're a man, use a man's bathroom. If you're a female, use a female's bathroom. And I don't give a fuck what you identify as. You will use the appropriate goddamn bathroom. Because let me paint a picture for you for the future. And I have a child. Let's say I have a little girl, right? And my little girl goes into the bathroom, maybe a public bathroom. And behind my little girl, I see a fucking man wearing a goddamn dress walking into the same bathroom. That's not going to fly with me. I will go in there and I will yank his bitch ass out of the goddamn bathroom. I don't play that. I don't like that. I will never stand for that. That is fucking stupid. Okay? Go to your own goddamn bathroom. That's it.
but I don't want to be in there. There's other men in there. Well, well good. You'll fit in because you are a man. Like, fuck off me. Now that sounds like it sounds like your mom. This is why no one takes y'all seriously. At all. Ever. And you're making legitimate trans people look bad. You're making legitimate trans people look bad. I say all this stuff, but it's just like fucking liberals and Democrats. They're not all fucking stupid. It's just a goddamn handful, right? You're making decent, normal, regular fucking trans people look bad. That's, that's, that's all you're doing. You're not making, you're not, you're not making a case. You're not making any kind of valid points or reasons. You're fucking stupid. They, someone should remix this and please do and turn it into like an Amity Affliction song. I hate what you're doing to us! I hate I hate you. this! Wah. Board of Supervisors! I hate- I hate the Board of Supervisors. I hate you, London Bridge! Oh, I thought she said London Bridge. <laughs> I hate you, Jenkins! Damn, damn Jenkins! Fuck you, Jenkins! Hey man, Jenkins, fuck you. Cowards. Coward Jenkins. Since my house complain about my baby wearing pink. I can't take that fucker seriously. At all. And I know that's a female. I don't know what I don't know what kind of trans she is or whatever. But oh, it's just super fucking simple. Y'all aren't y'all aren't out here. Y'all aren't out here getting what the fuck is to already? Jesus. Y'all aren't out here getting killed, bro. Y'all aren't y'all aren't out here getting fucking none of that shit. Just I just don't know what they want. Like what do y'all want? There is no genocide, so throw that out the goddamn window. That's fucking ridiculous. What do y'all what are y'all crying about? What do y'all scream about? Like what do y'all want? I'm sorry. I'm not letting you into the same goddamn bathroom as my future daughter. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not calling you what you want to be called because I live in fucking reality. I'm just goddamn not. And I refuse to have you try and teach this shit in fucking schools to goddamn children. I'm not having that either. And I refuse you fucking turd bag ass dudes that can't compete against real men go going over to the female side and competing against females. I don't like that either. Aside from that, what the fuck is your problem? Can anyone tell me? That, 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 that's all I want to know, and no one can really seem to give me an answer, especially them. I don't understand. Asking me why you keep putting her in peace. Hey, man! Hey, man, Jenkins, fuck you! Coward! Coward, Jenkins! Since my house complained about my baby wearing pink. I was just asking really why you keep putting her in pink and not other colours. This lady, who he should not have put the, um, the text over her face. She should be fucking mm -hmm. named and shamed has come up to this dude randomly, she must be one of his neighbors or something, and started complaining that his daughter wears pink. He's two year old. Girls often wear pink. Well, I think you'll find that was back in the day. Girls watching this, ladies, do you like pink? If you do, cool. Who gives a shit? I don't think it's today. I think you can wear any color you want now. Well, of course you can. Of course you but can. It's a two year old. And two year olds can't make their own decisions so their parents trust them. And you're not the fucking parents, so step off, bitch. My baby, right, little Atticus, who's nine weeks old now when this video goes out. I put him in a Newcastle Knights jersey whenever the Knights play. And that is a terrible decision for him because as much as I love them, they're not a very good team. But I do that to him because I'm his father and I'll choose what he fucking wears. Mm -hmm. I've only ever seen her in pink and I think that's not allowing her to have freedom of what, what gender mean freedom? she wants to be. This is how crazy these people are. Y'all are fucking dumb. Freedom of what gender she wants it's to be. a fucking two-year-old. They, they can't even speak yet. They can't speak. They can't read. They can't walk. They can't feed themselves. They can't do anything. What do you mean freedom? She's a girl, <laughs> mate. She's two. She doesn't get a choice. She, she's a baby. She's a baby. She's baby. She's two. 
looks a lot older than that to me. Shut up. Step off, Shut bitch. Shut the fuck up. Step off. Shut up. If you don't even know her age, you shouldn't have an opinion. But anyway. Well, hold on What's any of your concern? Well, it's my concern because I believe that the world has got better since we've got all this fuck fluidity this with genders. Okay. Fluidity with genders. Gender. No, the world is actually more fucking stupid because of that shit now. Now. Okay. And I think by dressing someone in pink, if she doesn't... Coming from a lady wearing a spew green yeah. fucking stupid long overcoat and a cheap looking shit satchel with a fucking shit haircut. Fuck you to the moon. She doesn't want to be a girl when she's older. She wants to be a treasure or transgender or whatever. What if she wants to be a transgender? Oh, we'll fucking cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? She what, if, what if you want to get on your knees right now and suck my dick? How about that, lady? Like, Jesus Christ, this guy is extremely patient. I don't have- I don't have time for this shit. At all. Whatsoever. Not even a fucking little bit. She doesn't give a fuck about gender, she's fucking two! In pink, and you would have confused her. So I think it's nicer to dress people in all different colors. I mean, she'd look beautiful in yellow, wouldn't she? Let's well, be honest. <laughs> well, yeah, she's wearing yellow now. <laughs> she's wearing yellow now. You idiot. She was sorry. But she's got pink trousers on. Oh, well, fucking, let's throw her in the bin. Rainbows on. Now, I do like the rainbow. Of course you like the rainbow, you fucking indoctrinated. Yeah, I didn't have this child to appease you, you stupid bitch. That's kind of like people that get mad whenever you say that, no, you can't pet my dog. Well, why? Because it's my dog and not yours. You want to pet a dog, go buy your own fucking dog, you stupid cunt. Holy shit. Firstly, yeah, you're wearing pink glasses, okay? I think you'll find these are mauve. Are you kind of... What kind of these, young lady? She doesn't know. Yeah, she says pink. I call that a pink pair of glasses, you fucking bastard. So, <laughs> I'm just a little bit baffled to, like, why you're actually here. I'm just asking why you keep dressing girl in pink. I think you should give her more treat. You're at his front door. Dude, you're at his front door? Oh no. I thought this was like they were at a supermarket or he was like in a parking lot getting ready to get in his car or they were in public. You're at his front door? Lady. Lady. You better be glad this is in the fucking UK or wherever the fuck you are. Because if this is in America, man, you're getting that you're getting the shit slapped out of you. You are. You getting the shit slapped out of you or I'm slamming the door in your fucking face. That's it. And you're not going to like what the fuck I say to you. At all. Whatsoever. Step off, bitch, before I slap the taste out of your goddamn mouth. That's it. It's too fucking easy. Get the fuck off my goddamn property before I fucking shoot you. Like, stop, stop talking to me about my goddamn kid. I never want you around my goddamn kid. And if I see you around my goddamn kid, I'm burying you. Like, it's not, it's not, it's too easy. His front door, that's madness. Again, you're always so careless. Whoa, hold on a sec. Let's use some nonviolent communication here. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm taking a moment <laughs> off from my real estate job to offer up some nonviolent communication. Oh yeah. Instead of attacking How good how good must your life be? No, Brad, she's got no fucking life. She's pathetic as fuck. No friends, no family. No mother, no father, no children of her own. So she just goes around berating and talking down to other people that do have children. Because she doesn't have children. Why don't you go make your own goddamn child and you can dress it up however the fuck color you want? Stupid ass bitch. Let's start with the observation. So the trash is still in the bin. That's a fact. Okay, fine. The trash is... He's not fucking it. No way. Still in the bin. Right. Now let's move on to feelings. How are you feeling about the trash being in the bin? I'm feeling frustrated and annoyed. Got it. So the trash is in the bin. And what need or value is being unmet for you when the trash isn't taken out? I guess I just value cleanliness and organization in our home. Okay, so now can you make a request to address that need? What are you, fucking HR sending an email to an employee who's taking photos of people's I don't understand like, what I'm watching. This is very here. professional. I don't think this would work in the real world. Can you please request that I take the trash out next time I see it's full? Yeah, sure. CC Jono and accounts and he'll pick it up. Yes, I request that you please take out the trash next time you see it's full. Understood. I'll make sure to take care of it. And remember, we can always use this non-violent communication process to effectively resolve conflicts. Now let's fuck! How to be a fat liberation ally with demon derriere. Do you want to have a demon derriere? If you've got a demon ass, does that mean that your is. butthole looks like a pentagram? Just a question. But this comes from Vice AU. Let's play the video. Oh, Vice. 
Christ. Oh, fatten up your Instagram. Follow fat activists and body positive organizations. Two, quit projecting and work on your own internalized fat phobia. Hi, it's Will from Booker Law. If you use Steam, the PC game platform, you could be fat phobia. I hate motherfuckers that use this. Homophobia, goddamn fat phobia, transphobia. You dumb motherfuckers don't know what phobia means. Do you know what phobic means? It means fear. You're afraid of something. You have a deep-rooted fear of something. Like arachnophobia, the intense fear of spiders. Acrophobia, the intense fear of heights. No one is afraid of you motherfuckers. Stop using the word phobia. You're using it wrong and y'all look and sound ridiculous. Holy shit. Three, skinny folk, you are also part of this movement. Four, that's not a bad word, doll. Reclaim it. Why are you speaking like you have any sort of influence? Shut up. No one wants to listen to you say fatten up your Instagram. What, follow some fat cunt on Instagram and then you're going to change your life? No, I hate this shit. All it is is people being lazy and they demand that everyone around them accepts them. Fuck off. Not everyone's going to accept you in life, particularly when you are in the wrong. And fat people are in the wrong. And I know that sounds outrageous, but this is what gluttony is. These people are sick. I've been a fat person. I hated it. I know that these people don't like it at all. They don't like what they see, but they... But there's a difference between, like, let's say you have a medical condition that causes you to gain a whole bunch of weight or not be able to lose weight. That's completely understandable. That's fucking fine. But when you're on goddamn TikTok telling motherfuckers, hey, come on and be like me. Do you want diabetes before you're 25? Fuck yeah, come subscribe to my goddamn Instagram. That's fucking stupid. You're fucking stupid, okay? People with medical conditions that are overweight or, or, or just big, that's one thing. That's a medical condition, all right? That's understandable. And most people with those medical conditions, they take the proper steps, right? They may not lose weight fast. They may not lose weight as fast as everybody else. They may retain some of the weight that they had, but they try. You, on the other hand, you're not trying. You're not doing anything. You're not making any kind of fucking effort. You'll be dead before 50. So have fun with that. Like, project to everyone else that what they are doing is great and beautiful and powerful and wonderful. It is not. You are a sick person and you need to lose weight so you can live longer, live healthier. And I know there's a lot of people who are watching this who are overweight and I'm not having a go at you. I'm not having yeah. a go at fat people. I'm having a go at people who like are that. really obese saying shit like this. And five. People saying, hey, come be like me. Uh, my lifestyle is perfectly fantastic. I feel great. Yeah, now what, girl? You look like what? You're like in your 20s? 20s something like that let's see if you're gonna be singing the same tune when you're 60. let's see quit commenting on our bodies oh my god well don't put it on the fucking internet dipshit welcome to san francisco oh fuck san francisco again walgreens fuck armed security and fuck walgreens what did walgreens do fuck the guard that lynched him Fuck Crook Jen, fuck DA Jenkins, fuck Jenkins again. Fuck London Breed, fuck Stop. London Breed's not a kid. Fuck Copaganda Dorsey, fuck Mandelman, fuck Safai, fuck Mussolini and Guardio, fuck SFPD. Did not mention Hitler, not once. So that's an interesting thing to take away. Fuck homeless sweeps. Fuck homeless people. They them didn't say that. <laughs> fuck age shock, fuck coordinated entry, and fuck drama scoring. Look at these, these are like. These you know what's crazy? Things. Like. She said, fuck all this stuff, but I don't know what any of that stuff is that she just rattled off. I think she said London Bridge. I don't know what, I don't know what your problem is with the London Bridge, but Jesus Christ. I bet you your father is so proud of you right now. Plot twist. You probably don't have a fucking father. There's no way you do. Children. Like they're all filming with their- And if you do, he gone, bro. Long gone. He saw you fucking dipped he was like i failed with this one I i'm leaving jesus christ phones just trying to get a reaction out of each other but that is a dude brad a hundred percent they're in a government there's a dog behind her someone has brought their dog i hope he gets to speak sorry they them gets to speak these are people that should not be listened to they certainly shouldn't be in a forum where they're listened to by the public
That is what a waste of taxpayers' yeah. dollars to have these people speaking. You should be allowed to speak and put your views out there into the world, but you have to be able to do it in a reasonable manner. Running through all the people that you hate, fuck Jenkins, fuck the fucking London Bridge, you just look like an idiot and you're not helping your point. You're not getting anything across and no. people will automatically want to go against you. Fuck to those who recall Chase and Boudin. Fuck school board recallers. Fuck sit lie. Wow, that is a person that needs immediate assistance. I'm tired of straight white men having the power and everything, you know? And it's like, we as women of color, as I would like students to say, at this university. I would like to say that, have you ever looked at like people who run a university or a company or whatever like a lot of them are not straight white men no i know that's sort of like the uh you know the talking point of everyone who's been indoctrinated into this hatred sort of mm -hmm. cult the fact is they're not they're just not straight white men anymore and this war that you're waging against dudes uh, is just you're looking in the wrong direction love that's what you're doing they hate so themselves we're very much capable of certain things and we don't have the same privileges that are offered you do you do you just do you just being like let's let's take out the straight part and let's take out the white part and let's just leave in the male part everything you do everything you use everything you touch everything you see was made and maintained by a male so, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about when you say, I'm tired of all these straight white males having all the power. It's males in general that have all the power because males create. They create and they build. A male made your fucking iPhone. A male probably built the fucking house or the apartment complex that you live in. A male paved the fucking roads you drive on. A male did everything that you take for granted, but they have all the power, right? They probably fucking should. They made everything. What do you mean? Lazy, you're just making excuses for yourself. Pardon the fuck up. And if you want to be fucking equal, register your bitch ass for the next draft, right? Because last I checked, I think females are exempt. Back in the day, females were exempt from the draft. What, what do you got to say? What do you got to say? Join the fucking service then. When the next draft comes around, raise your fucking hand. You want some goddamn equality? You want some fucking power? Go goddamn get it. Go fucking get no, but you don't want to get it. You want it handed to you. You want it handed to you like they did with Kamala Harris. Like they did with fucking AOC. You just want all the shit handed to you. Christ almighty. Great white men. And I've been hearing that from a lot of the ladies that I've been talking to today. I bet you have, because they're all in a fucking cult. Talk to me about what some of those privileges are that, you know, straight white men have that you don't have. Talk to me about that. Um, I think I mean... Wait, what was her question? Today, talk I bet you have, because they're all in a fucking cult. Talk to me about what some of those privileges are that, you know, straight white men have that you don't have. Talk she won't be able to list off a single fucking one. Watch this. Watch this. Watch her brain short circuit. Watch. Talk to me about that. Oh yeah, I need to go because you're looking fucking stupid and I just realized that you're looking fucking stupid and I just realized that I'm standing next to you so I just might be stupid by association so I'm gonna get the fuck out of here before I, before I get caught up in whatever dumb bullshit you're in. Called it. Too fucking easy. Oh, yeah, so yeah, got, see? You answer the question and see? you run out of talking points and you just... Straight white males have all the power and all the privilege. What what are these privileges that they have that you don't? Uh, 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 uh banana cream pie! That's, yep, solid, fantastic, you're fucking stellar. Uh -oh. I gotta go to fucking, I gotta go, I gotta go across the fucking street. This is the whole thing, they're taught to follow mm -hmm. one way of thinking. That's it. And then when someone questions it, they either run they gotta away... Go. Or they just get angry. That is a weak person. That's all that is. Mentally Honestly, weak. it's discrimination that they can't build wider aisles in aeroplanes. Oh. It's just, I mean, well, fuck, girl. Your, your, your goddamn ass is the size of one of the turbines. What do you mean? I don't, I don't think it's discrimination at all. You just got a fat ass. That's, I don't understand. I, and no, I don't think it's discrimination. At all whatsoever. Planes have to be a certain size, man. Gotta be a certain width. 
and not everyone is shaped like you. So why would they make a plane with you in mind? No, they're going to make a plane with the general population in mind, the general size, height, and weight. You don't meet any of those criteria to make a plane specifically for you or alter or modify the plane specifically for maybe a handful of people that have a backside like yours. Get the fuck out of my face. You're an idiot. Oh, let's replay that. Your ass is in a love heart shape, which is nice. Your ass is fucking huge. I, yeah. I'm trying to... Like how, let's, okay, let's have a look at the backpack. That's like a backpack width. That's how big her ass is. Yeah. That's how big her ass is. That's as wide as this chair. Yeah. You. That's a fucking big ass. Man. What you need to be on is you need to be on a fucking C-17. Not a Boeing 757. Not a goddamn commercial airliner. You need like either a C-5 or a C-17 for that ass girl. That, that's all I'm saying. I, that is a big ass. They should ask how much they weigh before even letting them purchase the ticket. I mean, weight's not really a problem. She's just complaining about the width, I guess. Because I've seen big people on planes. That, that doesn't matter. The only time weight is an issue is if you're trying to cram a whole bunch of motherfuckers on an elevator. But this is a plane. This thing already weighs tons of fucking pounds on its own. So probably not, but... Can't even get through. <laughs> Look at one of her comments. You'd be more suited to this. People will be like, nah, she's, you know, she's powerful. She's, you know, she loves a body and all that type of stuff. I mean, she got a fat ass, bro. I like it, but still, modifying a plane just for you. That's the kind of society we live in. Damn the majority. I need you to do something just for me. You know who acts that way? Children. Children act that way. Between the ages of 5 and 13. That's good goddamn. Okay, let's, uh, let's finish this cancer. And I, I understand that it sucks that she can't get through here, but the reality of the situation is it's your fault. It's your fault. It's no one else's. It's not straight white men. It's not society. It is on you. That is your doing, all right? You're the one putting food in your mouth. Don't blame anybody else. And... Here's the thing. Yeah, if you can hook me up with, like, the Power Stone, Fox, that'd be fucking fantastic. I kind of feel like if I use that just for a bug, I'd go too hard and just, you know, destroy four square miles, but... She could change that, but she's probably following people like Lizzo and Tess Holiday who tell you that you don't have to change. Well... It appears you do, otherwise you can't walk down the aisle of a fucking plane. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think of the video and send me some of the best TikToks that you've seen too. The butts, man. Good. Oh, uh, what was the most unhinged one? I want to say this lady. This point based This lady right here. Like, good God. What does that say? Justice for... Ugh. Nanco Brown, whoever the fuck that is. I just, uh, Jesus Christ. This one right here looks like she just stepped out of the fucking Matrix. Really. Like Morpheus is behind her right now talking about, if you don't shut the fuck up, it's just, I'm going to unplug you. That's what's going to fucking happen. I'm gonna send your bitch ass back to the goddamn machines.